And just like that was an ambiguous statement, it also turns out that Respawn and EA have an ambiguous statement about when Star Wars Jedi Survivor is going to get their patch that's going to fix some of the VRAM issues that are plaguing this latest game. In case you're not familiar, a lot of the issues surround just not having good frame rate. The game is stable, but doesn't really run very quickly, has a lot of frame stuttering, and in fact, Digital Foundry calls it the worst AAA port of 2023. Part of this is just because it's unoptimized. Can you use up to 21 gigabytes of VRAM at some point, and EA says that they acknowledge this, and that part of it is because you're running it with lower performing processors, which a lot of people have pointed out, I'm using a 4090 with a 5800X3D, what, and do uh, you want me to go to the 7800X3D? That's a requirement now? What's going on? And it turns out, especially if you watch Digital Foundry's video, what you'll find is the fact that even if you change the game settings, the frame rate doesn't really change a whole lot. It appears like it does next to nothing to adjust the settings and that it's just a buggy, unoptimized port from the get-go. The game is playable and I've seen a lot of reports, even on Friday's episode of Hot News, plenty of people were chiming in being like, my frame rate's totally fine. I'm running at like 100 plus. I don't know what everybody else is talking about. It turns out that it's not applicable to every system everywhere, 